Hey, today we're going around asking people what they're doing for their spring break. Hopefully we get some good answers. Here we have Karime Smithy and this spring break I'm going to Washington, D.C. What are your plans for spring break? Um, me and my family are going to the or to Tybee Island um, near Savannah. It's actually our first time that we've ever been to, well, I've ever been to the beach. First time my son's ever been to the beach because we're from Nebraska and there's no beaches there. Um, so he's going to make sand castles and we're just going to hang out and do beachy things, see what it's all about. What are you going to be doing for spring break this year? Uh, my parents still live in Mississippi, so... I'm going to go home, see them. Uh, I'm going to go to Oxford, uh, Mississippi, where I went to college. Probably going to go watch Ole Miss baseball game, and that's probably my only plan. Probably show off my sweet mustache. Are you doing anything fun or interesting over spring break? Yes, I am. I'm actually taking my family to Savannah uh, on the coast, which is where I'm from. My parents still live there, so uh, we'll probably go to the beach one day, have lots of seafood. Uh, ride bikes, things like that. Yeah, so it'll be exciting with that dramatic enough. What are you going to do this year for spring break? For well, spring break, I plan on working around my yard, uh, trying to get some grass to grow, uh, probably spending a little time with my wife. We might take a day trip or something. So basically, I don't plan on going anywhere. I just plan on being around the house. What are your plans for spring break? Are you doing anything fun over spring break? I'm going to go to my grandma's house. I haven't been there in like two years now because of COVID and everything has happened. So I'm, I'm really excited to see them, but I can't wait to do that much. What are you going to do for spring break? Um, I, me and my family, we normally don't do really anything for spring break. There's been a couple of years where we might go to the beach or something, but I think this year we're just going to kind of chill and just hang out. What are you doing for spring break? Uh, so for spring break, um, I'm going to relax a lot uh, and um, I'm gonna play golf a few times and I'm actually taking my good friend Coach Griffith here out to go play golf one day this week. So super excited about that. What are you doing this year for spring break? Uh, this year for spring break, I have a few things I'm going to do. Um, I have some painting to do inside the house, boringly, uh, spring cleaning, but we're also going out of town, going up to the Georgia mountains for a few days and just enjoying some time with my family. What are you doing for spring break this year? I'm not going to do a lot. I'm just going to take some time, relax at home, maybe see some friends, go see some movies, watch the new Godzilla movie for sure. What are your plans for spring break? Nothing. What do you mean by nothing? I'm Aaron Gutierrez and I'm in seventh grade. And for spring break, I'm gonna go to um, Texas to see my family. What are you doing for spring break? Uh, playing a video game with my dad. That's cool. What are you doing for spring break? So I'm doing a little work around my house the first two days, and then Thursday and Friday, I'm going to um, annual training at the police department, and I'm gonna qualify with my rifle and my handgun. What are you doing for spring break? For spring break, I'm going to El Salvador to meet my husband's family for the first time. So for spring break, um, I'm actually going to Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg with my family. We're going to be doing the Alpine coasters, the Ripley's, believe it or not, stuff. And we're going to be eating lots of good food. What's up for spring break? I think I'm going to um, clean up my house, paint my bedroom, and get everything going for spring and summer weather. So what's up with you for spring break? I'm going to Panama City Beach, Florida. This spring break, me and my family are going to be going down to Clearwater, Florida, and hopefully we will enjoy some beach time and some sunshine. What's up for spring break? For spring break, I'll be chilling at home, very thankful for some downtime, and snuggling my best friend's new baby. 
Well, I have a week of surprises planned. Shh, don't tell anybody. But my mom is coming into town and my sister and my nieces and nephew are coming into town as well. And I haven't seen them since COVID started. So it's been a long time since I've gotten to see them probably about a year. And so one of the days I have a big giant slide coming to the house. And then two days later, I have a petting zoo coming with pony rides. <laughs> so I'm so excited. And they don't know, so don't tell them. <laughs> And now, ladies and gentlemen, the moment you've been waiting for, DMS Spotlight! Action. All right, the power podcasting. Honestly, that's all I listen to. I very rarely watch TV or I don't watch mainstream media at all. Um, I get all my news. Um, you learn so much from podcasting. It's just, and, and it's... um liberating because they don't have a lot of confine you know restraints on them confines so i love pop being podcast is the um you say the new norm the brilliance that i've seen come out of these podcasts is um pretty, impro pretty impressive i think they're really important because like they give like different viewpoints on certain topics you wouldn't normally think about like it's kind of just like so like a conversation but recorded and like it's telling so many cool stories and it's like so interesting to listen to them because you're getting them from different people that you normally wouldn't get them from. You know, it's interesting. Podcasting is such a new thing that every day you kind of get to have a new perspective on it, a new a new look on its power. You know, podcasting has been a great way for people to give you facts and the truth. I'm Andre Najera. Um, the two podcasts that I'm working on right now are first one about how like looks affect people, how people judge other ba based on their appearances and how like that can affect someone's life, like whether they succeed or not and kind of how people see each other. And my other one that I'm editing uh, is a group podcast. It's about different names, what they mean and that it, like if it's like our label and how sometimes our names don't fit, fit our personalities. So I'm excited. <laughs> I'm Gabriellas and I'm in seventh grade journalism. And this year I'm doing a podcast on anxiety and stress, which um, I think a lot of kids are deal with that in middle school specifically. Last year we, I, I did my podcast on toxic masculinity and um, you know, that was a rough process. We. The journalism team, we had no idea what we were doing. Um, we were using iPads and audio recorders. And, you know, because of that, my entire podcast actually deleted. But that was, it was kind of a blessing in disguise because um, right after that happened, we got Audacity and we got these little mics. So um, we were able to now, I was able to redo mine and it, it ended up being a lot better. And, you know, somehow, I don't know how, it ended up getting top 10 of the NPR competition. Um, this last year we submitted four podcasts, this year we submitted 17. So it's night and day of a comparison and it's, it's just amazing to see how much we're evolving every day. You know, every day someone finds a new thing like, oh, we can do that now or something. Um, and I'm just really excited to see what, what the future holds for our podcasting team. I want you to close your eyes and just think of the word masculinity. What comes to mind? For the girls, it might be their boyfriend taking them out on a dance. But to me, 
I think of toxic masculinity. Wearing, I was questioning how I acted. Like, that's not me. That's not how my parents raised me. My parents raised me to be grateful for what it was that I had because I was taught like my dad struggled. He had nothing when he got to this country. So like when you're over here, Hello, I'm Amanda Triplett, and um, this week we're finishing up podcasting in my class. I know that some of the other classes are also working in podcasting, as we have a local competition that we started this year called Speak Up Whitfield, and all of the middle schools in Whitfield County are competing, and we have about a 30-something podcast that are going to be submitted from Dalton Middle School to compete, and we're also going to send those to NPR. Uh, for the student podcast challenge. So I'm looking forward to seeing how our students do. We have some amazing podcasts and I hope that this will be something we do every year and it's something that we're known for in our area.